poetry, and then they've written their own poetry. And so that's what you will hear this morning. So uh, we want to open it up with our very own Miss Burks, who's going to just kind of kick us off with her own original poem. So welcome. much Miss Burks for sharing it with us and she's always um, in my poetry cafe to show our students that even in growing up you still can use your talents and gifts and she's so very talented in a lot of things that she shares with us each year for the poetry cafe so thank you again Miss Burks so without further ado we're going to start with the fourth grade poetic presentation so sit back relax and enjoy Coming to the stage first is our very own Miss I Mr. Ishmael Johnson. Let's show him some love as he comes. Because my dad is special. I have conveyed this through my word choice 
My dad tells me things to make me feel better. He tells me that I can be who I want to be. That is why I wrote you know you can be what you want to be, who you try to be. Also, he encouraged me to stay in school, which is I don't have no trust to. <laughs> I love my dad. I was motivated to write about him because he means so much to me. Thank you. Great job, Ishmael. So if you can follow along, the fourth grade have learned to celebrate each other in a poetry setting with the snap. A lot of times we want to clap in the students' hands and remind Ms. Dan, we don't clap, Ms. Dan, we snap, so they know what to do. Welcome to the stage, Jakari Caldwell. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. My wonderful family. I love my family. My family take me to the zoo. We have fun at the zoo. My family might be ice cream. Does your family love you? <laughs> my amazing family. I love my amazing family. Thank you. Florida, my family and I had to pack our bags. 
When we arrived for our location, we went to the house place that we were going to stay. After the wonderful trip to Florida, my family and I got back on the plane and went home. Thank you. My poem is about my trip to Florida. I was inspired to write my poem because I like the place where my family and I visit in the hotel we stay in. I particularly like the beach. I could make this by you precise language. I went to places in Florida that I have never been to before. This is why I wrote an exciting trip. The hotel had waterfalls and we were able to eat breakfast for free. We went to the wonderful place we were going to be safe. I wanted the audience to know how I was inspired by my trip to Florida by using exact language to help you understand my excitement. The hotel we stay in looks like this picture. Job, Jamarvis. Now, welcome to the stage, Keydrain Tarnish with a special girl. Special girl. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How y'all doing today? special girl that I know. She is nice, she is beautiful, she is wide, intelligent, and loves to be at home. She has long black hair, brown skin, smells like bear perfume, a smooth, normal, soft voice. She doesn't yell at people and loves pink lipstick. Thank you. <laughs> this poem is about a special girl that I know. I was inspired to write about her because she is so interesting. I conveyed this by using a lot of descriptive detail. The special, this special girl does not like to go different places. This is why I wrote and loves to be at home. Also, she is very nice and doesn't not yell at me. This is why I wrote in smooth, normal, soft voice. As you can see by the image, she is very cute. <laughs> <laughs> in, conclusion, in conclusion, I was urged to write about this particular girl because she is fascinated. I hope you can see this for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Next we have Fadarius Cotton. Welcome to the stage, Fadarius. Hello, everybody. How is your name? My name is Fadarius Cotton. I'm going to be reading my poem, Sports Sports. Sports, sports are fun. They are exciting like football. In football, we win games, we run a lot, we catch a lot, and most of all, we tackle a bunch. In basketball, we shoot, switch, we drill, <laughs> boy, we run a lot, we sweat, and most of all, we drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> My poem is about sports. I was inspired to write about sports because I played sports all my life. And here's a picture of a football and basketball. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Welcome to the stage with a trip to New York. It's Miracle Lions. Lions. I'm going to read my poem, The Trip to New 
York and my family rocket ship. My big family and I was going on a trip in that man's rocket ship, going through the sky, to the floor, New York, New York. Finally, we got there and zoom, out the door to eat some popcorn. <laughs> The lady played me away and went to the store to get that new door. The time to go home in my big rock ship going through the sky. <laughs> <laughs> my poem is the trip to New York and my family rocket ship. I was inspired by the airplane that I was on. Because it's like a rocket ship. I convey this through imagery and emotions. I use the words space rocket ship because I wanted the reader to know how quickly the airplane was flying. And you can see from the picture, airplanes can remind you of a rocket ship. To sum it up, the words that I have chosen in my poem was selected to help the reader see the airplane as a rocket ship and understand what inspired me. I hope you like my poem. Thank you. All right, she was very entertaining with a little song and a poem. All right, many of our students are using a lot of uh, uh, characteristics of poetry, like onomatopoeia and rhyme. Some of them are using free verse, so I can really see that they captured the essence of the lessons that we had. All right, welcome to the stage next, a very entertaining Judaya Robinson. Because she helped me better understand my work. 
I root, I can't see it in her action because she loves me every day. This shows you a picture of me, Zangis. Thank you. She did it! <laughs> Y'all have to know tonight to know what that was about. All right, coming to the stage is Kazaria Jameson. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Today I'll be reading my poem, Milwaukee. I love Milwaukee like people love to sleep. I said I love Milwaukee like people love to sleep. I love the way it has big buildings. It has a mall downtown there. It is so fun to be in Milwaukee, the schools, malls, and the food places. Milwaukee means so much to me. Thank you. My poem is about my trip to Milwaukee. I was inspired to write this poem about my trip to Milwaukee because my grandma had her funeral there. My other grandma also lives there. I have conveyed this through imagery in my poem. This picture that shows what I wrote about in my poem, Milwaukee. Thank you. Nicely done, Kazaria. Now, welcome to the stage, Imani Wilson. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'll be reading my poem about slime. Slime is amazing, synthetic sticky slime. Blue, green, red, violet. See slime everywhere. In your bed, in your hair, slime everywhere. Sweet like ice cream, soft like a cat. Have it as a comfort in your bright blue bed. Slime like confetti in your bright blue bed. Thank you. <laughs> My poem is regarding spectacular slime. I was motivated to record this because I love to amuse myself with slide back adhesive slime. I also love to play with it when I'm excited or when I am bored. I communicated this through precise word language like sloppy, synthetic, and adhesive. In my poem, it says, slime like confetti in your bright blue bed. I wrote this because the slime was really messy and it ended up in my blue bed. I use the word messy because slime was spilling in the bed. I had slime in my hair too. It was really sticky and it fell on my head. This is why I wrote, in your bed, in your hair, slime everywhere. The words in my palm have to read and match what my slime could look like. You can also see it from my picture. I hope you realize what inspires me and helps you to see sticky color slime. Thank you. Outstanding details, Imani. Yes. All right, welcome to the stage, Demiria Harris. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Demiria Harris. Today I'll be reading my poem about my everything. My family. I love my crazy family. They are funny. I love my crazy family. They like some good sweet strawberry ice cream with sprinkles. My crazy dad buys me everything. I don't know. I would like a red hoverboard. Thank you. <laughs> My poem is regarding my adorable family. I was encouraged by 
are my relatives because they always forgive me when I do terrible things and encourage me when I am helpful. I have told this by comparing my family to things that are sweet. This is why I wrote like some good sweet strawberry ice cream with sprinkles. My dad is really nice. So I wrote that he buys me everything I want. He did buy me a rare overboard too. I would I wrote that my family is crazy because they always tell me funny jokes. <laughs> they are sweet because they always support me. I thought all the words that I use would help you to, to know how I love my family for how they support and encourage me. The picture helps you to see how sweet strawberry ice cream is, just like my family. I am inspired by my family, and I hope that your family also encourages you. Thank you. So now that you have a crazy family, too. <laughs> I also want to point out the strong linking word that she used. So, I want to tell y'all something to me. All right, next, welcome to the stage, our little Miss Carlisha Suggs. Good morning. Good morning. Today I'm going to give you my poem, like Pretty Little Cheek. I'm nine years old, I like to wiggle my pretty little short tongue. My birthday, my best day, I like sunny days like Friday. I'm nine years old, school is knowledge. I'm nine years old, knowledge put you in college. Thank you. Wow. My name is Carlisha Sook, and my poem at Pretty Blue Chick is regarding myself. I was motivated to write about myself because I love myself and I care for myself. Okay, I am responsible for myself and I made a lot to me. Another thing I'll do at all times is forgive myself. I tried to convey this precisely by including details about myself. I wrote a nine years old because it's fun being a child and it's my age. It's a great age. I was inspired to write about my birthday because it is the day I was born. I said that it was the best day because I have lots of fun. I wrote that I like to wiggle my pretty little short toes because sometimes I do wiggle my toes and it's a part of myself that I really love. I have the best representation of myself. In conclusion, my poem is all about me. I am very important. I was motivated by intelligence and beauty. I mean a lot to me, and I care for myself. I convey this through examples about myself. Thank you. Self-love. Let's back it up again for Kalisha. All right, we need this so much. Next, let's welcome to the stage, Mr. Jonathan McGowie. Oh. 
And last but certainly not least, Mr. Quentin Bronner. Thank you. 